go ahead and get started with just a couple of questions. Well, Governor, uh, I know there's already talk at the legislature about passing state level immigration measures. Is there anything you want to see lawmakers accomplish in the next few weeks? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't want to comment too much on anything that they're starting to work on. I, I, I really appreciate uh, what Speaker Austin put out. I appreciate uh, what uh, Representative Gaines, the local delegation behind me here, uh, has been talking about doing. So we look forward to working. Uh, look forward to working with them on those issues, but I don't really want to comment too much on any specifics. They may want to. Governor, when you say hold the federal government accountable for its failures, what do you mean by that? Secure the border. I mean, it's not that hard to do. Uh, for the last two years, Republican governors from all over the country, I mean, people from New Hampshire and Montana are begging the president to secure the southern border. I mean, this is, this is what we have, have, you know, feared would happen because we have seven and a half, eight and a half million people that have come in our country illegally. And then we have these people that are here illegally breaking our laws and nobody's telling us who they are or where they are. That's all we've been asking for Governor, and to secure the border. And we're willing to help do that. Governor, have you spoke to the family? Can you talk to us about what they said, what they're going through and how you have done? Well, look, yeah, first of all, they're, they're devastated. I mean, they are heartbroken. And I, I, Marty and I both, um, you know, can, can understand. I mean, our daughter's at the University of Georgia. She works out in that same area. I mean, it is just a tragic situation. But they're also mad, like I am, that this happened. And it was preventable because we just have a nightmare in this country with mass migration and then have people that are here illegally breaking our laws and they're not telling anybody and reporting this to us. Governor, do you think other students or parents like you of students at UGA should be frightened or scared today, or do you think this is an isolated incident? Well, it definitely appears to be an isolated incident. I mean, we'll let the investigation continue, but I cannot thank uh, local law enforcement. We put every resource we had, Director Hosey and, uh, Hosey and the GBI, into making sure that we got this guy off the street, and they did that very quickly, so it was great uh, police work, and I know the family was very appreciative of that. Uh, so hopefully that will put our, our community at ease. I know President Moorhead and the university uh, is a parent. Marty and I got an email last night about things that they're doing on campus, resources for students. Uh, but, it, but again, it's an opportunity, I think, for our students to really uh, think about how they can make sure that they're watching out for each other. Uh, and it's also, you know, really goes back to local law enforcement and prosecutors that we have got to go after dangerous people in our communities. Uh, you know, small crimes, we see it every day lead to big crimes, and, and that's what we've seen in this instance. Governor, since you mentioned it, uh, do you have confidence in DA Deborah Gonzalez's ability to bring this, this, uh, this suspect to justice? Well, she best to do that, I can tell you, because the whole country and the world is watching this case. So it's my hope that she will do that uh, or perhaps seek some folks that can help her do that. Right, last question. A letter to the president. Have you gotten a response, or do you expect a response? What do you hope to hear from President Biden? Well, I haven't gotten a response that I know of, but I haven't obviously been back to the to the Capitol uh, since the weekend. Uh, I appreciate Homeland Security finally putting something out uh, about this individual. Uh, you know, there's talk that the president may do some executive order action, uh, which you know, depending on what it is, would be welcome. But, you know, the problem is he's getting pushed by the, you know, the activists in his party not to do anything, just to allow this continue to happen, which is why we have to keep the pressure up on him to know that this is unsustainable. And it's unsustainable because of tragic events like this, but it's also unsustainable economically. You know, he talks about not having enough money to, to do anything at the border. I mean, look, at they've paid out almost a billion dollars last year to cities that are having to deal with all these people. you got the city of Denver that has 3,000 more people in their school system in like one or two years, nine, 10,000 hospital visits in uh, over, you know, year over year. I mean, those numbers are unsustainable because of the mass migration we have in our country. I mean, there's no other place in the world that has the poorest border that we have right now and is allowing 169 people just in a you know, a matter of months that are on the terrorist watch list to try to come into our country. What about the ones they didn't catch? They are roaming around us right now. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Governor. Thank you, Governor.